So here I'm basically cutting out the balls of this string because I could not get any balls, just balls, at any store that I went to. So basically I'm air cutting out the balls. I already spray painted my picture frames in gold and it's drying and ready to be styled. So here we go. So basically what you see me doing here is adding some really strong adhesive in the inside border of the frame so when I put that glass right there after I've cleaned the glass and put it there it stays and it's very strong I'll also be adding, adding some pressure with um, anything heavy on top of the glass so it can sit and dry what you see me doing right now is adding some glues right in the corner because I do not want it to be touching the adhesive here I'm just adding the hot glue right around to seal off anything from coming out so here you see me putting gluing as a matter of fact gluing on another frame on top so I can give it a little lift and more space for the crushed ice. Here I'm adding the crushed ice to see how best it can move around inside of the frame. So that was the balls or the beads, whatever we want to call it, that I cut from the string. So basically here you'll see me adding some gold glitter. In which that did not work out for me I did not like the way it looked so basically I turned over the glass and wiped most of the glitter off the glass because as you saw it just was not looking that good here is the final look so I have no idea what this is they I was told the name but I don't remember um, I already spray painted it some of the gold paint has touched it and the black paint doesn't really matter this wasn't sprayed properly but it doesn't really matter so this will be attached on top of it for the perfume bottle cover and it, it, it has a it's light it's lighted yes and the light can change unfortunately I will be gluing the button to the cap. This, the light wasn't the reason why I bought it, so it doesn't really matter. And uh, I will be gluing it right there. Here, you basically see me adding some hot glue into the neck of the perfume bottle and adding the cap. I then cut off the excess paper off and cleaned up the hot glue now here you see me cutting the trim to fit the neck of the perfume bottle perfectly i'm then adding some e6e 8000 to be exact and putting some hot glue right on the tip so it can sit firmly while the e6 8000 is getting is being dried Here I'm just adding the gold trim or gold bead, whichever way you call it, right in the inside corner of the frame. And this is the look. I'm basically adding the Chanel logo right in the center at this moment using the hot glue. I'm very sorry that I did not add the trims around the side on camera. I added it off camera. Here you basically see me getting ready to add the cap and the neck to the perfume bottle by using the hot glue and some E6000. 
so this is the final look and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when i upload a video thank you